Now, there's three basic ways to repair your system in case you're having a problem after an update. You can use a system restore point, you can uninstall an individual update, or you can do a complete system recovery. So first we're going to take a look at restore points. Now restore points are a copy of your current Windows installation prior to some major change. Uh, an update may be one, maybe you installed a new piece of software, uh, whatever it was, you can revert back to just before that. Windows creates these if you have it set up correctly. The system restore, you simply go to this PC, whether it's in your file explorer here, and you right click and say properties, and then you go up here to system protection, and you'll see it's set up here. You'll see a list of your drives here and which one has protection. I only have it on my Windows operating system right here. And so uh, that's the one where my restore point will, of course, be uh, uh, stored at. And so I'm going to go over here and click on configure so I can see exactly how big of a uh, one is and I have it turned on. So you have to have this on first in order to restore it. Now to use restore, you have to go over here and say system restore. You click on that, you'll see a window pop up and it gives you a little prompt. You go here and you'll see if you have one or more and what the event was, the description, if it was a software installation or a, a some kind of patch that was put in and it was determined it needed to create a system restore and it did and you can restore back and if you click on a particular restore point you can actually scan for any programs that will be uninstalled uh, because when you roll back for example when I click on scan here it says oh we're checking and you see the, uh, that both Microsoft Edge and Mo on Mozilla Firefox will be reverted so uh, I'll have to reinstall those but remember System Restore only uninstalls programs or patches. It does not touch your files. Now the first thing you want to do is go into the Windows setting app, go to Update and Security, and you go in there and it'll tell you if you're uh, up to date or not. Uh, but what you really want to do is go down here to where it says View Update History, down here. And you'll see a list of all your updates. Now there's basically four versions of updates. Uh, first one is your feature updates. That's your complete replacement of Windows. I just upgraded in 1903 like many of us have recently. Uh, and you can go uh, take a look at that. Uh, there's quality updates which are fixes for your existing version. And you'll see I've already got some fixes against the 1903 here. So if you expand that box, next box a little bit, you'll see you go down here and you'll see you have definition updates which are solely the updates to Windows Defender. Now you can get these every day, twice a day. Uh, they're all related to some issue and you can go back and research what they're for and everything. But they have nothing to do with uh, anything except Windows Defender. Lastly, we have other updates and this could be anything. Right now it shows the Windows malicious software removal tool. But anything that Microsoft just wants to dump in there, they can. Now the two types we're going to be concerned with for uninstalling is going to be the feature updates and the quality updates. Uh, that's because those ones are going to wreak havoc on your system sometimes and you need to know how to uninstall them. So let's look at the quality updates first. To help you understand which update does what, you can go here and actually click on a link of a particular update and it'll take you to Microsoft's webpage describing what it does, what things, why it was issued, what fixes it does, uh, any known issues with that update. So you can decide based on your symptoms if this may be the one that's affecting your system. Now, once you learn about that, you can go take a look at another one, but I would suggest only uninstalling one at a time so you don't confuse your symptoms and stuff. But you just go up here to uninstall updates, and then you look here, and you'll see the control panel and your update history here. Now, notice here they're not necessarily at the same order, so make sure you click on the right one. Take a look at the knowledge base article number to decide which one that you researched and the one you want to uninstall. So once you double check that the number there is the same one as the one in your settings app and the one that you clicked on to research, you can click on that to highlight it uh, in the control panel. And when you do that, you'll see it pops up top with a uninstall prompt. You can also just right click on the individual item and it'll give you the uninstall prompt and you can do that. Now if I click on uninstall, it's going to prompt me to say, are you sure? Now I'm not going to do it, but here you would say yes and it would go ahead and uninstall that update may require you to reboot your system afterwards. Okay, that was a more common scenario, but what happens if there is after a major upgrade, for example, the recent release 1903, what do you do? 
Well, on the same page where all these other updates are listed, uh, you have your update history showing 1903. But right up here, you have a link called Recovery Options, where you can do several things. You can reset your PC entirely. How it does that is that during the installation of the upgrade, Windows determines whether or not you have a recovery partition. And if you don't, it creates a new one with a pristine copy of the Windows for that installation. If needed, it uses that to restore your system through using this option. And it allows you to either choose to keep your files or just a complete brand new fresh installation of Windows. The other option is to go back to your previous version of Windows down here, which will actually roll back to what you just upgraded from. But remember, you only have 10 days after your upgrade to decide to do this. Otherwise, those files get erased by Windows automatically. The last option you have is Advanced Startup, where you can go ahead and click on that and it'll walk you through booting to where it's going to ask you for a DVD or USB. Or you can just reboot Windows with a bootable USB. And there's a way to get that. So before you click on Restart Now to do that, uh, you should go out to Microsoft's website uh, to get their media creation tool. And we'll go here and already have a, probably a link to it. There we go, media creation tool. And you go here. I'll have a link in the description of the video. And you go there, and it does a great job of uh, walking you through either downloading a tool that installs on a USB so you can update your uh, system by booting from the USB. As a matter of fact, the site uh, gives you information on how to upgrade this particular PC or to upgrade a different one with just taking this USB over to another computer and booting from it. Be aware, if you follow these instructions, you download the tool, it's going to have 1903 on it. You're not going to be able to roll back. There are some sites that supposedly have the older version, but I wouldn't necessarily trust them. So if you've uh, run into a problem with your PC and you uploaded drivers, you've done everything you possibly can, you think, to do it, and it's time to reinstall, uh, try out uninstalling some updates first to see if you can fix your problem or even do a complete reinstall of Windows 10. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video. And if you want to get more, just subscribe to Old Guy Geek. You can also follow me at Facebook or Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video.